At Farms.com Risk Management, we understand that commodity price risk management and sound financial advice are essential in today's volatile crop and swine sectors. Visit our website at www.riskmanagement.farms.com. Welcome to the Farms.com Weekly Crop Report for February 9th, 2012. This is Michelle Lamrant, Commodity Research Analyst for Farms.com Risk Management. Well, today's Thursday and today was a WASD day. The USDA released their latest February WASD report this morning and was viewed by markets as neutral to friendly for corn, soybeans and wheat. There were no big surprises in this report as most of the adjustments made were anticipated by the market prior to its release. The following was a quick highlight and summary of the numbers. The USDA left their 1112 U.S. corn production, planted acreage, harvested acreage and yield unchanged in this report from last month, but they did lower their ending stocks number currently at 801 million bushel, down 45 million bushel from their January production and just 10 million bushel higher than the average analyst expectations of 700. 191 million bushel. This lowered the stocks to use ratio to 6.3%, 0.4% lower than last month. Corn exports for the 11-12 marketing year were raised 50 million bushel from the January report to 1,700 million bushel. Argentine corn production was lowered from 26 million metric tons to 22 million metric tons, largely already priced into the markets, while Brazil's corn production was largely unchanged at 61 million metric tons. The global stocks to use ratio it was lowered to 13% from 13.3% last month. The USDA left the 11-12 soybean balance sheet unchanged, with ending stocks remaining at 275 million bushel, just 5 million bushel higher than the average analyst expectation. The 11-12 global soybean production estimate was reduced to 251.47 million metric tons, down from last month's 257. Argentina soybean production was reduced to 48 million metric tons from 50.5 last month, and exports were reduced by 1 million metric tons. Brazil soybean production was reduced by 2 million metric tons to 72 million metric tons, while exports were reduced by 1.2. All wheat production, planted acreage, and harvested acreage in the U.S. was left unchanged, as was the yield. Overall demand was adjusted higher by 25 million bushels, which we saw reflected in the current export number, now at 975 million bushels for the year. This brought U.S. ending stocks for all wheat production down to 871 million, or sorry, down to 845 million bushel from 870 last month. This was lower than the average analyst expectation. 11-12 global wheat production was raised slightly from 691.5 to 692.9 million metric tons, bringing ending stocks up to a new record 213.1 million metric tons for the second month in a row. Production increases were seen for North Africa, India and Kazakhstan. So in summary, a generally neutral to friendly report. Although markets were down slightly today, we should start seeing these numbers rebound in the coming weeks as ending stocks do remain very tight and world demand should rebound to the upside. That's all for this week. Have a nice weekend.